Hey guys, Mr. Notes done here. For Team Talk setup, a lot of your equipment's going to be set up already for you. We've got our microphones and headphones, and they should already be plugged in. The one thing you're going to want to make sure is that your mixer, and we're using a digital mixer, mixer. this one's the X-Air XR18 by Behringer. You know, there's a switch on the side, you know, flip that on. If a light comes on the top, that's on. And then also make sure your headphone splitter is on. The other thing that you're going to need is you will also need one of the Zoom H4N recorders. And this is what you'll actually record the Team Talk onto. Um, and when you plug this in, so you'll make sure you turn this on. And of course, you guys remember how to set the recording level by the record level on the side. And you want that hitting at about negative 12 decibels. You're going to take the two outputs, left and right, our red and yellow cords. And those will get plugged into the bottom of the Zoom H4N. So the other thing that you're also going to need to control your uh, volume and gain is an iPad. And I have my iPad and you can grab it from me. It will always be on my desk. You can just come ask me for it. And I'm going to show you quickly how to set up your iPad and how to change the gain settings on the uh, XR18 program. Okay, when you first come into the iPad, this is what it looks like. And I know I got a little bit of glare, but I think I should be able to show this. What you're going to do is you're going to look for settings. And it looks just like an iPhone, it's very similar. And you're gonna go up to your Wi-Fi. And the Wi-Fi we're looking for there is we're looking for it not to be MSBSD WLAN. We're looking for the XR18 Wi-Fi access point. And what that is, is our mixer itself has created a Wi-Fi access point and we're now connecting to that access point. So I selected that and I'm now connected to the XR18. So if I exit back out, and I go to the X-Air program, and I open it up. Sometimes it'll go right into the mixer itself, and sometimes you may have to click on a picture of the mixer. But right now we're into the mixer. And I'm sorry about the glare on this, but you can see that I've got some levels bouncing up and down. Uh, channel one, two, three, and four, and I can adjust them. You can mute them at the bottom. So that's going right across. And you can tell your one, two, three, four on the table because they are color coded. So green coming at one, orange two, red three, and blue four. If you can't get enough volume out of a certain person, because everybody talks a little bit different, what you can do is go into the individual channel settings on each channel. You click just above the solo button on the channel, and then you go ahead and you can crank the gain on that channel. So it's just a knob and you just turn it around and turn the gain up or down depending and make sure that you get enough volume. There's also the master volume on the side and you're going to want to make sure that it's never clipping, it's never hitting red. So that's, a, that's basically it as far as what you're going to use on the mixer. The only other thing you want to watch out for is if you have to reset the settings, our mics uh, 3 and 4 use phantom power. So there's a 48 volt. You turn the phantom power off by going to hitting above the solo button. And right here it says 48 volt, and we can turn that on or off. And for mics three and four, we're going to keep it on. Those are our Audix 2020 or uh, our AT2020 mics. Those use phantom power. So I believe we're good to go now. We've got four channels, and we're, we'll adjust our settings so everybody is is good. And then of course we control the recorder for the recording.